taking no that's a promise, not a threat. Uppercut, season, no top, you stop breathing. Out of the car, too, as well. God, hold on, we. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. I, I forgot. I was like, hold on, what car? You do? My bad, keep going. Yeah, so. You know, obviously, the you know, originally the main event was supposed to be Carlos Quadras versus Sirsiket Sora Rungvisai. You know, and we even we previewed it and everything, but pretty much like shortly after I pre after I published the shit, you know, we get oh, oh Sora Rungvisai is out, um, you know, and then Jesse Bam Rodriguez is in, which is crazy because you know, Jesse Bam Rodriguez was already on the card. He was like, he, he was fighting on the undercard. You know, but all of a sudden he goes from, you know, cat, it's a 14 fight, you know, he only has 14 fights in his pro career. And now he's going to be facing a uh, faded, but still very dangerous former champion in Carlos Quadros in there. And now, and then all of a sudden it turns out, okay, this will probably be one of those, you know, attrition for, fight of the years to, huh? So who's so to huh, who's gonna win this shit? Is it gonna be Chris Quadros experience is gonna pan out, or is Jesse Bam Rodriguez too young and too strong in that you know for him? So it, it was it was a different and truthfully, I mean, and you know some people were like you know that, that was you know it was an improvement over the original fight, especially you know in case you, if you didn't if you if you're not a fan of so wrong of the site for various reasons like some people on here, <laughs> you know, oh but uh. But in, but the card itself, I mean, like I said, I mean, it's a typical Eddie card. You know, Eddie has his prospects. Uh, you know, uh, um, you know, fight on it. And one thing that someone said about his cards with that, it seems like because you know, some of his prospects has been has been down with Eddie like since since, since he launched Matchroom in the U.S. And it doesn't seem like none of them have actually gone has actually gone anywhere per se in terms of uh, you know, the got to put where they should be fighting for titles or they should be fighting in like serious eliminators. Um, <laughs> uh, so the fact, and then there was there was a real robbery on this undercard. You know, if you ever watched the Eddie Vasquez Raymond Ford fight, like I mean, the whole card was actually entertaining as fuck. But if you want, if you want, if you if you want to see a candidate for robbery of the year, watch that fight, and then you know, and then those scores, because yeah, that, that was kind of disgusting. Uh, it, it was disgusting. It was very very disgusting. So so Ford looked bad. Ford, he didn't look bad, but he looked one dimensional. Like pretty so much. So he bad. lost. Nah, he, he looked have fucking looked. bad. Nah, he looked bad. Let's 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 not let's yeah, not. I, 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 I thought he got his sugar coat in this shit. He, he looked one dimensional as shit. I, that's what I'm saying. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. I know this ain't the dude that was saying how he's gonna fuck dude up. He it was. It was, it was that. It was the same guy. Him, he lost. He got a gift. He got a gift, yeah, serious gift. I right, see now. I gotta actually watch that fight. See why ain't y'all say that shit? Y'all some hoes, like. <laughs> no, and like I said, and, and I you talk about robbery like, at a year time level, like, like I like, like I and I actually like Raymond Ford too, and, I, and I've seen Vasquez fight, so I knew he wasn't no joke. But it was just like I'm watching this shit, and I'm thinking to myself, like, how many rounds is it? Is it? Was that? How many rounds is it? It's ten. God damn! So like. So like four like lost like what five or what, three rounds what seven, like how many rounds he lost like what, what should have the score f- for the fight been? Four probably from four, if I if I say four probably lost to maybe like a 97, 93. I thought he won three rounds. Like yeah, that's that ninety seven, oh, ninety three. Wow. Yeah, that's what. You can even like. make a case for a draw. Three clear rounds. Yeah, th- there was no draw in this fight. Like he, there was no matchroom draw he because he him. draw. It was, like, like he looked worse than um Elvin Rodriguez in his loss. Yeah, he definitely looked worse than when he fought Caraballo, you know, a couple months ago. Yeah, no, he, he I, de- like know. he like he lost, lost. Like this was like uh, this wasn't a Is draw. He like, hurt Rod, st- like what, or this he, outboxed or both outwork. He got outworked, outfought. He didn't get outboxed, but he, like he, he took. Like, it's a little bit of Fultz and Figueroa in it. Yeah, a little bit of that. But, Worse, more magnified. Like, <laughs> I, damn it, that was magnified. Like shit. Like, yeah, I, I well, y'all niggas sold me to fucking fight to watch after this. Then okay. Well, let's put it this way, man. Like the scores for Raymond Ford 
were 98, 92, and 97, 93. In no fucking way did those two scores exist in that fight. Like, I, mean, I can't even find six rounds to give them, honestly. Yeah, Let alone like, right, fucking... oh, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, I was like, are you fucking kidding me? I was like, yo, like this nigga just got fucked with no rubber, no Vaseline and shit. Like, yo, like... Like it's like yeah. yeah I hold on, was there some caping afterward? Like dude was talking shit. Did, did they well, go the back? crowd was booing the hell. But every time this nigga went, he went on the turnbuckles and shit like that, the crowd was booing the fuck out of that shit. Like yeah, yeah, and uh, yeah, I was like, and the funny thing too is like somebody on Twitter said it's like yeah, Ford probably lost this, but Eddie will probably make it so he's gonna win this shit. And I thought it was bullshit. Uh, I wish I, I wish I knew who that was that called that shit out when I was I was talking to him about it. Damn. Yeah, but yeah, I, I felt for Eddie Vasquez, man. Like that that dude clearly won that fight, man. Like he didn't deserve to lose a zero in that fight, man. Like, yeah, I, I, yeah, I, uh, that was it was disgusting, though, for real. But yeah, if you haven't seen that fight, yeah, go watch that. Yeah, yeah, go watch that fight. And, uh, it was uh, it was it was it, 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 like I said, it was pretty good. The main event, though, yeah, the main event. Was let's just say Bam is definitely wiser boxer wise than his years per se. Like that dude, that dude is a real talent to actually jump up two divisions to fight Quadris. Like I said, still you know faded, but still very dangerous. You know, you, 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 there's and the poise he showed in that fight too. Yeah, he, he exactly. He, I mean, he handled Quadris pressure perfectly. He handled Quadris dirty shit perfectly. Like Quadris was like, never let the moment run from him. He took some hard shots, never got discouraged. Yeah, and you know, he, and, and then solid performance. Yeah, and then and, and to top it off with the with the beautiful pivot, you know, pivot from Orthodox to was it Southie and lands the uppercut. You know, the, I mean, you don't see yeah, young fighters do that footwork. type of shit. What was that? No, all I was saying was great footwork. Like I was yeah. agreeing with you, like real exactly. good footwork. You know, I was like, and I say, and I know there was always a fear, you know, you know, Bam getting bashed up by Quadras, you know, especially if he got on his, if his Quadras really got on his shit. But yeah, the poise he showed in that fight was that's a that's that's a special talent right there. Like that, like that dude, you know, that dude. And if he goes down to back to like flyweights and and like light flyweight and all that shit, like dude will be a dude will be a serious problem, especially handling someone like Quadras, like. I was thoroughly impressed by that fight. Like, yeah, it was, a, it was a good, good action fight. Um, it showed that he needs to be taken serious by people. Yeah, it's like I mean, Eddie. You know, I think Eddie was right in signing him <laughs> just before you know he gave him that title shot. Like that was probably that was a good look because, like I said, as I mentioned before, Eddie's prospects for the most part don't really haven't really evolved like that to go to like you know get to the next level. There's not a whole lot of them. That have actually gotten last team. year, you know, he had so many fighters lose. It, exactly. <laughs> Both. Like this, this right here is the makeup for the uh, Kid Galahad fight. Yeah. Yes, sir. Absolutely. You know, and he still need another one to make up for the damn Mikey Garcia bout. <laughs> <laughs> Facts. <laughs> like too bad they couldn't be on the same card. Like I know. Although y'all, you talk, y'all told me Ford got a gift, so hey. Yeah, you know. God he, damn it! I, I I I gotta see that fight now. Like, jeez, I'm like, I, honestly, I want this shit to be over so I can see that now. <laughs> AOP, what what was your what were your thoughts on Bam and Quadras? Sorry, Pete? my bad. He uh, Bam looked yeah, man, man. great. Bam looked great, great for way be advanced beyond his years. He's only 21 years old. Like, right. Like they they made me feel old. This is the first the first champion we've ever had, you know, past two thousand. Like born. That's what yeah. that's what I read too. I was just like, damn, it's really like that now. It's like there's a, the niggas born into two thousands are holding titles now. I was like, gee. Yep, I wasn't ready for that. I was like, but he looked great. Um, even though he's coming from a smaller division, he didn't look like a small guy. He fought he fought bigger. And well, yeah, because Quadras, Quadras looked bigger too. That was another thing. Yeah, <laughs> fought with poise, um, outworked. Him. Like he looks great. You know, we got a, we he, we got one on our hands right here with this guy. Like, so it's it's gonna be interesting to see how he matches up with everybody. But that Bam that we saw, shit, you give a lot of those guys problems, especially since it's, we're talking about these guys are you know very good fighters. 
great fighters, legends, some of them, but they're old. So they got the young, we got the young bloods coming in. They might be right for the picket. Right. And then and this is what I think we talked about too in our preview too, because you know, one fifteen has been dominated by four fighters for the most part. And although the fights are pretty are good to fucking great to classic, you know, I think people got tired of the people are getting tired of the not me per se, I actually love it, but you know, the the round the, the roundabout, the round robin shit. And then you have this and you have Julio Cesar Martinez next month with Chocolatito in there. And I think that's like, and I think, and I know Luke, I talked to him about that shit too. And he is like, yeah, yeah, you need some of the young cats to get, you know, to yeah, draw well, a little life in some of these this, this, this is, that's, that's a fight that might take eight years off of Chocolatito, really. If we're yeah, being... yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's, that's a fight for Chocolatito. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you're a Chocolatito fan, you're like, God damn it. <laughs> yeah, you know, because it's, you know, Chocolatito, you know, may, you know, that fight, he may not get his get back with Estrada. Or in the third fight, depending on how things go, <laughs> but uh, you know, but Bam though he special, that guy's special too. And it, honestly, I I can't see between because you know his brother Josh Franco holds one of the GameStop belts in that division, and I'm just like, yo, why is Bam so more advanced? He's his younger, but why is Bam more advanced than Joshua Franco? It, it, it's just funny to me. It's like, no, granted, Franco didn't even look bad his last fight. Right, no, it is, it is, it, 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 and that's true too. I mean, Franco has only, Franco only has one. I think that was the best Franco's ever looked. Right, and but Franco just has, I mean, well, Franco is just more faith friendly. Like Franco gets into wars. That's probably, I think it's probably his bigger thing. It's like it's a little different with him. Like, do because, because the, the personalities. Franco is a is a fighter's fighter. Like you know, Bam is like the is a boxer because. Cause Bam would get in there with you and he'll he'll thug it out as you saw like cause you well, if you fight Quadras you're gonna have Kudras you're gonna have to be able to do everything right and Bam showed that but Franco would have made that shit like a, a fight of the year yeah for sure <laughs> and and would have won the same I think but. He, he just goes about it a little different, a little meaner, a little more. Yeah, aggressive. like I mean, yeah, it's funny things too. I mean, Franco is a, is a good fighter, but it's just like, yeah, I mean, it, it happens. Like you know, like some like one brother is a talent, is a super talent. The other brother is just like. But I know, think they still both super talents, though. Like I can't, you know, it ain't like a Jamal Jamel thing or something. <laughs> yeah, no, right. I mean, I mean, it's just Franco. I mean, I mean, Lexa, he only has one loss, and truthfully, I mean, I always thought he. He, the way he fights, I always think he should have more for some reason. Because you know, you know, because because yeah, he, he fights so fucking wild at times, you know. But uh, yeah, it's, but hey, you know, you know, they're both quote unquote champions, one and the other, you know. And uh, yeah, Robert Garcia definitely needed a little needed a little stimulus because uh, yeah, his, his gym, you know, you know, his reputation has been his fighters were his fighters have been floundering. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> So yeah, so he he definitely needed he definitely needed Bam to win this belt, and he win it uh, win it with you know the fashion that he wanted. So, I mean, definitely big ups to Bam on that one. And you know, originally they were talking that oh Bam was gonna vacate his belt, and then you know go back to one oh wait then to me it would be kind of foolish for him to do that. That wouldn't make sense. I mean, this uh, one fifteen is a lot hotter than one oh eight, but. Yeah, although 108, it's it's still good. It's still 108, it's still a good division, but it's not 115. 115 right now is like it, it's it pretty much it's right I for. Mean, why, why would you get a stake in when you could have the stake itself? Yeah, exactly. exactly. You know, because now it's like okay, now how's, how's got now? Because now you can think okay, how's he got handle Chocolate Tita? How's he got answer? How's he got handle on Estrada? You know, can he actually beat someone like you know? I want to. I want to see Bam versus Rap Boy. And that, and that one will be different too because you know Rap Boy yeah. punch, punches the hardest out of all out of the out of the main four, you know. And you know I don't. It's gonna be one to see if Bam can actually handle someone who's who's really physically stronger than him, like and punches harder, but it's just not as fast. <laughs> uh, oh, Dice, I'm just reading your comment. Okay, he must have he must have heard what I was talking about with Thurman. Kind of like my hairline. Mine is fucked up. I've been thinking about shaving it bald. I mean, hey, bro. Like, I mean, I can't tell another man how he, you know, how his hair should be, you know. But if you, but you know, if you look in the mirror and you have a five head, you know, it might be time for you to give it up. You know what I mean? Or investing, <laughs> investing keeps. I mean, I don't know if you're past that point, but 
Yeah. <laughs> All I'm saying, dude, before you chop it off, look at yourself and, and see if you got one of those funny shaped lumpy muscle heads. <laughs> like, you don't want to be one of these motherfuckers who, you know, you keep listening to them. Like, yeah, they go chop off, and then you do it, and then your head look like a goddamn pineapple that done rolled down the staircase or some shit. <laughs> 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 or a pack of hot dogs that a nigga flung down the hallway. Oh Lord! Yo, yo, I'm this, just yeah, saying, this, like, yo, yo, random. This remind me of, of a story uh, of high school from my then best friend in high school. And at the time, he had his he had his hair in cornrows and shit like that. But he was going into the military, so he want he didn't, he wanted to get he had to shave you know shave shit up. But he never really went to the barber's like because he always kept his hair long. So he was like asking me like, yo, what should I get? You know, what should I get? So at the time in high school, I was rocking a shadow fade. You know, that was the, that was the thing, you know? And I was like, okay, why don't you just get a shadow fade? Like, you know, that might work. He's like, oh, okay. So he went to my barber, the barber hooked him up. But his head was kind of dead. He had, it was like a pointy ass head, so the fade didn't work. So I, I, I spent most of my time like roasting him because the shit didn't look right on him, you know? But and that was he had a, a bullet head. Yeah, he had a bullet head. Ah, <laughs> uh, see, yeah, you gotta know, man. Like. That's it. Or if you got like some crazy bump or scar in the back of your head that the hair covers, like yeah. you gotta make sure all of that. Cause once you do that, then all that shit's on the table, and now you might have to fucking go and go see the ter- a dermatologist or somebody <laughs> to deal with. It. And, and before it was never a problem because no one could see it. So that's all I'm saying. Like, you know, yeah, you know. I mean, yeah. I mean, just, I mean, just take what we said. You know, just think about some of the shit we just said before you make your final decision. Yeah, <laughs> you your hair. Cares. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want nobody, you know, going around walking around with no fucked up head. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh man, but yeah, that's just a real random thing. But yeah, though, Jesse Ben Rodriguez, man, like, it, I'd say, if you saw a wrong side, I, I, trust me. I mean, obviously, you know, by the year. Yeah, for sure. Like, you know, we got to make sure, you know, like, I actually, I wanted to stay in the division for a little bit, you know, just do your thing, see what you can see, what you can get. Like, I mean, uh, if anything, his profile will still get, will get raised. And Eddie, I'm sure, will be more than happy to put him in there with one of these guys, you know, at some point. Since we saw Rungman who, who who was supposed to get the shot. So I would welcome that. I would welcome that fight too, Pete. So... Oh uh, yeah, so that but yeah, like the whole the whole card itself, like I said, this was not one of those cards. Usually Eddie's US cards kinda go on and on, but for but it was this was a very watchable card. Like there wasn't any bad fight per se. And shout out to Jamie Mitchell though for the high for the KO of the night. You know, she she, she destroyed I see girl, that right here. My goodness. Yeah, like she 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 let it a fucking killer instinct combo to sort of finish like her her that head was snapping all the way the fuck back. <laughs> the, the ref was a little bit slow on that one. <laughs> he, he was. He he was. In my head, I'm like, damn. And, and Shannon Courtney was uh, eating these shits. Like, wow. Like, I'm saying, like, you know, but yeah, Jamie Mitchell was just like, she, yeah, yeah, she was. Yeah, she dropped him. She dropped her in the first, second, and then the third one. She was just like, you know, now nah, it's time for you to go home. <laughs> I swear, all these women got powered except the uh, 